Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. Today I wanted to come out and share with you a warning dream uh, that I was given last night. And um, I believe that uh, this is very relevant to the church, especially right now today. Uh, we know Halloween is a day when a lot of evil is taking place and I believe the Lord wants us to uh, understand our responsibility uh, in confronting evil and uh, and addressing it in his way all right so the the dream the first dream I was given last night I was uh, like on a Christian college campus and there were these students and I was kind of just like pulling in I don't know five or six of them and talking to them and I was explaining to them uh, that the enemy is always always at work and that is why he makes progress against the church and I explained that we as the church, we must be proactive in our faith, working toward the goal of furthering the kingdom of God, right? Not just uh, being on the defense, defending our faith. We need to be uh, furthering the kingdom. And, um, and then in the second part of the dream, I believe this was a warning too, um, my husband and I were driving down the road and all of a sudden I see all these little baby monkeys and I knew they were, they were babies because they had diapers on. And so I was telling my husband not to run them over and uh, he like ran over top of one. It didn't hurt it. But when I looked back, it like waved. Okay. So I did not know what that meant, little monkeys uh, in the street. So I looked that up and I found uh, one interpretation that I felt like it was applicable. It's it's actually, monkeys mean mockery. Uh, it's a warning of trouble down the road, betrayal and deceit. And this made me think of, okay, how the church is being um, persecuted in America. Right now it's at infant, it's infancy stages, right? The monkeys being in diapers, infancy. But, um, I believe that's going to change. I believe that it will increase. The persecution in America will increase. And we need to be uh, addressing it now at its infancy stages. And um, so when I was thinking about this dream, all right, I, was, I felt the Holy Spirit lead me to Matthew 24, uh, verses 42 through 44. And this is, these scriptures are where the Lord is talking to his disciples, okay, about... I believe um, this specific scripture where it says two are in the field, one taken, one left, is uh, the rapture, you know, when the church is taken out. And, um, and he gives a warning uh, for people to be watching at this time. He says um, in verse 42, therefore keep watch. Then but on into verse 43, Jesus says, but understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch. Who is the thief? All right, Jesus is the thief uh, that Paul talked about, and he comes and he steals his bride, all right, the church. And this is not just the church that we're talking about. For Israel, this means the end of the age of grace. So something very precious is being taken from them, and he is warning them. Um, and he says, so you you also must keep be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour you do not expect him. And I believe that was a prophetic utterance where Jesus is saying that at the time of the rapture, Israel will not be ready. They will not be watching. And, uh, and, and it's going to catch them off guard. Uh, we know as the church, Paul said, you are in the light. You're children of the light. He said, um, you know, that this day will not take you by surprise. So we know... Jesus is, this is a warning for Israel, uh, that that day is coming, all right, when something very precious is going to be taken away from them, and had they been watching, they would have been prepared. Um, but as the church right now, we need to uh, focus on the, the will of the Father, all right, and expanding the kingdom. You know, think about think about in sports, all right, whenever somebody is on the defense, uh, there's really not a whole lot of opportunity to score points, all right? But on the offense, this is when you have opportunity to uh, to score a point. And uh, the Lord gave me a dream years ago. I used to play basketball when I was younger. Um, 
So I was in this basketball game and I was standing under the net and I was like guarding and there were three people standing around me and, and they were saying to me, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. And I couldn't understand, you know, why would they be saying I'm doing this wrong? So when I woke up, um, I felt like the Lord was saying that what he wanted me to be doing was, um, you know, moving down uh, the uh, the court, you know, with the ball on the offense, not standing there on the defense, but moving forward, uh, being proactive. And, uh, and this is what I believe is important right now for us to be standing firm in our faith, proactively praying, watching all the signs, you know, unfolding around us to, that point us to the time of the rapture, the time of the beginning of Jacob's trouble. Um, I know it's easy to get discouraged when when the waiting seems to go on and on, but that's where it's important for us to stay awake and not uh, fall asleep just because you know we think that it's taking a long time. There was the warning Jesus gave of the of the foolish virgins. Yeah, well, actually, all the virgins fell asleep, but to stay awake, to be alert, and you know, to be expanding the kingdom of God, pushing forward, just like you know Jesus said. Um, that his food was to do the will of the Father. And, you know, he talked about the harvest that was being ready in uh, in John chapter 4, verses 34 through 38. He goes into detail about the harvest. And, uh, again, we know that we are the harvest generation. It's our job to be uh, reaching people for the Lord and, um, you know, drawing them into the kingdom, snatching them from the fire. And however the Lord leads us to do that, you know, we have to follow the, the Holy Spirit's leading. Um, but it's it's a part of our call, you know, to be reaching the lost for the Lord. And Jesus said, um, thus the saying, um, one sows and another reaps is true. I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the hard work and you have reaped the benefits of their labor. So it's like we are just really supposed to be bringing in the harvest right now. The, um, I believe all the hard work has been done. The Lord has literally made the harvest ready, and he's shown me this in uh, that other dream, you know, where the corn was literally exploding onto the, the church building, and, you know, the, the, the woman was asking people, volunteers, to come bring it in before it went bad. And that's, I believe, where we're at. It's just, you know, bring it, bring it to the door, bring the people to, to Jesus, to the door. Um, this is what we're here for right now. And, uh, and I hope, you know, that you're encouraged and I hope, uh, you know, that, uh, that we are all keeping our eyes on the Lord Jesus during these, you know, tumultuous times. And I know there's a lot of attacks going on. Uh, the enemy is at work, but, uh, church, it's important that we are at work too, and that we are not outwitted by him. Uh, the Lord has a plan, and the Lord will have his way. As always, church, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.